Okay, chances are if you're watching this video, you're probably at the point where you know we don't want to be seeking love outside of ourselves. Validation, contentment, fulfillment, and things outside of ourselves, we want to seek it from within and fulfill it from within. Yet, you can be and should be falling in love every single day. And you may think, well, how is that possible? I'm only one person. How am I supposed to fall in love with myself within every single day? There's only so much I can fall in love with. But guess what? There is more. And the things that you don't want to do in relationships, I feel like really aren't talked about as much. And there's even this like very interesting concept of how to manifest relationships and what to manifest and all these tools and tricks and things in the spiritual community even specifically that I'm not sure like really resonates and a lot of the information available I find doesn't necessarily direct you in the right direction but more so feeds kind of like where you're at if that makes sense for example like how to manifest a specific person I don't think you even want to necessarily be doing that which again I'll get into so I'll be addressing many of those things and yeah just very excited so if you are new here welcome to the activation vibration I'm Heather make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and if you didn't know I make lots of music and activations meditations that are free and also available on my website so definitely check those out and with that too, listening to music, getting into the first topic of falling in love every single day. How do we do this? Well, from another perspective, it's like, how do we not do this? And that is actually going to be your frequency once you tune into and tap into this, where you will start to feel this certain energy, this love, this bliss, this connection, this transparency with everything with the beauty with the divinity of everything to where you can't not be in love with everything so you can be in love with music when you listen to a really good song or maybe it has a good message or a certain artist or they have this emotional frequency in their voice and you feel it you can and should fall in love with that feeling so rather than just being like, oh yeah, that's good, going about your day and not even really allowing time to properly integrate and accept the celebration of the fact that you felt so good from listening to that song, instead being like, wait, 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 let me feel that. Let me feel, that. maybe, you know, play that again. Or let me continue the frequency, keep playing music. Or I am so content with that, let me just feel it. Let me just feel it. And giving yourself the time and the space to fully feel and marinate in that frequency of love, the pleasure, the bliss, the good feelings and frequencies. So you can fall in love with music, you can fall in love with nature, beautiful trees. Ooh, I fall in love with trees almost every single day. With nature, with flowers, they're so beautiful. If you actually take time to like admire and acknowledge and honor beauty, you will see, oh, there are so many different layers and levels that I didn't notice before. And with that, as I'm tuning into these layers and levels of this beauty that I just used to pass on by, I'm inspired. A new awareness has been awoken. I have more wisdom. It reminded me of this beautiful memory. Or now I can connect this. That was the piece I was looking for and didn't even know it. It was within the admiration, the falling in love with that beautiful flower. Fall and rise in the frequency of love, even the frequency that you feel. Allow for that to amplify within you. And you can even fall in love with your workouts, with activities, things that you do throughout the day, a hike, a experience, anything. You can fall in love with your friends, with strangers that you meet. And falling in love doesn't have to be this attachment where you need to possess or control or even merge with that thing forever. It can be a spark of love that initiates that frequency within your heart and within that energy, that essence, that field, that person, and then things continue along. Love is a frequency that is contagious. And it is so powerful. It literally has the ability to heal all. I'm sure you've heard that. We've all heard that. We all know that. Love heals all. It's the medicine. It really actually, actually is. And if you, again, give yourself permission to fall and rise and feel love with whatever it is that you're experiencing without the need to attach to it or possess it or even the experience of it, 
but instead realize and recognize that that frequency of love that you activate, that is what you keep forever. When you do that, then you are eternally fulfilled. You carry this frequency of love that you've activated with you forever. That's like a real, real thing. That's why we want to activate and amplify these frequencies of love. That's why that's a meditation. That's why that's how you manifest things is by feeling the frequencies of love and amplifying it. Because when you feel it, your body becomes familiar with that feeling. Therefore, if you intentionally activate the feelings of love, gratitude, bliss, beauty, and appreciation, if you amplify that feeling and that frequency within your body, your body gets familiar to it, used to it, and wants to create that frequency and continue that frequency. And that's like literally how you increase your frequency is you get yourself used to, familiar with, you train yourself to hold and to amplify and to embody higher frequencies. And again, that frequency that we amplify within us that we feel consistently is contagious. So if you are consistently attuning to happiness, bliss, love, appreciation, and beauty, and amplifying that frequency even just through your embodiment, you don't have to be over-exaggerative with it and try to overflow it onto everyone unabashedly in ways that maybe are not fully designed. You can encode it. You can hold it. You can simply be it and that will be felt. That will be received authentically. And as you allow yourself to fully feel and embody it, others feel it. It becomes contagious for them. They start to attune to it in their own divine unique ways. Thus encouraging the further embodiment of authenticity for everyone. So it's definitely a vibe. When you feel good, like please keep yourself feeling good. Amplify that feeling, that frequency. We want you to feel good. It helps everyone else feel good. And like, that is such a thing. Like when you feel good, when you are in love, when you are like emanating this frequency, everyone feels it. That is how you become this light that walks into the room. That's how you have confidence. That's how you have trust, hope, inspiration, faith. It is through the frequency of love. It starts with just being present for it, falling in love as much as you can unconditionally. So in terms of the best relationship advice, that's the first thing I'm sharing with you, where if you fall in love and rise in love every single day as much as you can with everything that you do, just being present and grateful for it, appreciating it, then you will embody who you really truly are. You will attune to your actual soul's desires, not that of your ego or projected or imprinted upon you because of your parents or your past or friends or society, but actually what you truly desire and what will benefit you, what will actually be most harmonious for you. Because sometimes what we think is good for us isn't actually good for us. And it's actually a desire or a wound projected from the ego or the shadow. And it's translated and confused, manipulated its way to appear as if it's something that will make us happy. Yet that's not of the soul, that's not of the heart. And often it can be hard to decipher what that actually is. But when you take time consistently to fall in love with things and actually get connected to your own frequency of love, you will know who you are. You will be clear about it. You will know what you desire and therefore you'll attract it. Kind of just like naturally happens. So whether you are already in a relationship or you want to attract a relationship, when you are in your authentic frequency, it also affects your partner or your partner to be. Where again, the right one will come when you are in your authentic frequency. In fact, that's the only way they can find you. Otherwise, they can't find you because you haven't found you. And if you are in a relationship, when you embody that frequency and you honor and focus on and dedicate your energy to being in love with life and yourself and all things, 
It also influences your current partner where authenticity is contagious and they naturally just start embodying this whether they recognize it or not. And also with that too, you don't need to be in your most successful embodiment as your most advanced version of yourself in order to attract your person. When you are in love and you're feeling good and you are actively attuning to a higher frequency, you are in your highest frequency and embodiment. So, and are we back? All right, we're back. My camera turned off, it wanted some more love, so I am charging it and giving it some more love. You're succeeding when you are in love, when you are enjoying life. That is the ultimate success. And really, you feel it in your heart. Like, when you feel true love and you allow yourself to just like be encapsulated in that frequency and feeling like nothing feels as good as that. And nothing is going to feel as good as that. And you actually can't even feel love from others, even the person that's meant to be your person that you love so much, if you're not allowing yourself to feel love. It's not just about like loving yourself. Wow, I love my arm hair. Like. It's also about feeling the frequency of love, receiving love. Like, did you notice that uh, God loves you, nature loves you so much that there are like masterpieces awaiting you? Every single day out in nature, the sunrise, the sunset, that is a masterpiece. Like, God loves you, nature loves you, the universe loves you. All the miracles, everything you've experienced, like your guides love you, your angels love you, family members love you, friends, people you don't even know, strangers have seen you and they're like, I love that person. So even just feeling and receiving the frequencies of love, no matter what you manifest, even if it's the best thing, the specific thing you wanted, you will not feel the love if you can't feel the love. Sounds simple, but it's kind of not, but it also is. It's like very simple, very natural, but like, um, kind of complex apparently because everyone's like curious about it and now in terms of manifesting your person It's really important that you don't try to manifest a specific person based on Someone you see or an ideal or anything material or even physical now This is a thing in the manifest your person uh, Community era thing where we're like, whoa, we can literally feel vibrations and then attract people based on those certain vibrations. So manifesting a specific person is actually a real thing. And there's a lot of encouragement to think about manifesting the specific maybe look or dynamic or career or material, physical embodiment, creation, manifestation of your person. Yet, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because that is from the ego. That's not from the heart. That's not from the soul. That's not from God. That's a mental construct most likely imprinted into you through society, maybe even through trauma, through wounds. Maybe it's a past life thing that may not be fully resonant with your soul's true person. Or like maybe you do like a specific thing in people and that's what you're primarily attracted to and you may manifest that. Maybe you are meant to admire and love that in a non-attached way and the thing that you end up getting is actually way better for you. So let me explain that. The reason why you don't want to manifest your person based on anything material or physical is because you want to manifest your person based on how they make you feel. You want to manifest partners who will make you feel a certain way and encourage and support you in being your best self. So that's the biggest thing. This is the biggest thing. As you are manifesting and feeling into and even just clarifying with a certain partner, how do they make you feel? How do you feel? How is your nervous system? Like actually check in with yourself on like a, a cellular level, like chemical level. How do you feel? How does your body function around them? How about your mind, your heart? Are you inspired? Are you creative? Do you feel supported? Do you feel loved? Do you feel beautiful? And in attracting that person, call that in. Someone who encourages you and reflects to you your best version of self. Now, sometimes that's through challenges and through ugly things and through shadows that need to evolve. Obviously that's necessary, but that's actually also very beautiful. When it's done in a correct way with someone who is harmonious with you and you resonate with each other's frequencies and formulas, then even the shadow shit is beautiful. Even that is beautiful. 
So that's what you want to focus on as you're bringing in your person. Like, okay, I feel this way. I'm encouraged to do these things. I create and am inspired to be in these spaces. Value those attributes in a partner over everything, always. And with that, as simple as that may seem, when you're in the situations and you ask yourself, possibly doing it already, you will realize, I do know the answers. I do know if this person is my person or if they're not and who I want and what's right for me. You've got it. You are it. You embody your best self, your best life, your best relationship. You're a better person for everyone, for all. It's a collective benefit. So with that too, know that you not only deserve to be loved and supported and with your person, but when you are with your person and you are loved and supported, you're a better human, therefore you influence the collective better and everyone benefits from it. So not only is it okay to desire this and you deserve this, but the universe, God, source, everything is in support of you receiving and experiencing this. All it requires is for you to open your heart, live in love, fall and rise in love daily, and get clear and connected to your authentic frequency, embodiment, and expression. Own it fully. Be confident. Know that your people can't find you unless you're in that energy. Encode the love within you. Be fulfilled by it fully. Emanate that pleasure and magnetize and attract based on your heart and soul's desires. Getting intuitively connected to the communication of your body and how you feel. Tuning into that, is it resonant or is it not? And what is resonant? And I am now ready to receive it because I'm clear about it. And so it is, beautiful being. May you find your person, your people, yourself, God's source embodiment, all that it is that you seek. And so it is. See you soon, fam. Namaste.